wide old buildings that are over a thousand feet tall fall down during an earthquake? Well, today we're gonna do an experiment that tells you why. Let's go! In this experiment, we're gonna use cubes and dirt. Now we need to build three towers using the cubes. Let's get building. So I'm gonna build the first tower out of yellow cube that's gonna have a big base. I'm gonna build the second tower out of black cubes that's gonna have a medium or small base. And I'm gonna build the third tower out of green cubes that's gonna have no base. So we're gonna put each of our towers into the soil. We're gonna cover the soil up to the first cube. So that means that with my black and my yellow tower, there's actually gonna be soil covering the bases, and this is gonna be important later on. So now that our towers are under the dirt, it's time to shake it just like an earthquake. So what ended up happening? The orange one stayed up, while the black and the green one, they both fell down. So what's actually going on here? Well, the yellow tower has a big base that's buried underneath the ground. And the weight of the ground, the soil, is actually keeping the yellow tower standing up. The black and the green towers, they don't have as big of a base. The green tower doesn't even have a base. So you can easily just pull it out. The black tower takes a little bit of force, but the yellow tower, you really gotta pull hard to get the base all the way out of the ground. And the, the base keeps it standing up straight and tall. Almost every single building that is built today has a base, so it's called a foundation, that is actually wider or longer than the building itself. And it's underground and it keeps the building straight and tall, especially during an earthquake.